Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. Today I'm going to do a Dollar Tree, partial Dollar Tree meal for you. Uh, I was looking through my book that I have. It's called the Prepper's Pantry Handbook. You can get this right on Amazon. I'll put a link right down in the description for you if you're interested. A lot of great information in here. As you can see, I've started tagging it up. Uh, this is one of my favorite things to do when I get a book uh, and I find stuff that I want to access quickly. So the first thing that I have here, I was looking through, it has, um, it has recipes in here uh, and all different varieties of recipes, but they're supposed to be for emergency, nutritional emergency meals. So um, I was just looking through something to see what they had. Uh, different ideas because you can never get enough ideas for food and especially when you're trying to do it in the middle of you know bad stuff happening uh, or needing to make budget friendly meals uh, so I found one that said stir fried ramen noodles now it's not just ramen noodles uh, there's actually other stuff here and I will put a uh, pop it up here for you to look. So I'm gonna build on that recipe that I saw because I can. If this was an emergency situation, your emergency meal would be ramen noodles. Um, let's just face it, that probably is what it's gonna be and whatever you can find to mix in there. So that's kind of what I did. I love to just go through and see what I can find and, and mix it in. So uh, it has, um, ramen noodles and they call for one package. I'm gonna put two packages in because I'm gonna make a meal for Scott and I. Uh, olive oil because we're gonna have a bunch of vegetables and we want to saute them in the pan. Now this one says uh, use a wok, one of those big round uh, cooking. I don't have a wok here, but I do have uh, cast iron pans that we cook in all the time. So that's what we're gonna use today. Uh, so olive oil for sauteing the onions and softening them up a little bit. This is onion, celery, uh, minced garlic, and this one says frozen peas, but we're gonna do, because Scott isn't a pea fan, we're going to do um, green beans. And we are going to do everything else, but we're also going to add uh, green pepper, and we're also going to add mushrooms, and what else? And the two packages of ramen. And then for a meat, I'm going to add our canned chicken that I canned last October. Uh, I just opened the can up. I have it sitting in a pan over here warming up slowly. I wanna cook the meat just a little bit, just if there's anything in there to cook it off. Um, it, you don't have to do that. It's already cooked when you seal it, when you can it, and you need to pressure can it. Um, but it tastes really good, smells really good the way it's supposed to, but just in case there's anything that's in there, you can cook it off if you cook it off for about, or cook it for about 15 minutes. Um, so I've tried it, it tastes good. It smells kind of like tuna when you first open it. Uh, we've used it before in other stuff and it's been fine, but I do like to cook it beforehand just because it's been sitting and I don't know, that's just what I do, but you don't have to. Now I have had a lot of questions about why I didn't use salt when I canned my chicken. Some people say you have to use salt in it because it helps cure um, and, and stuff like that. You don't have to use salt in your canning. That is purely for taste. I have high blood pressure. I do not want the extra salt in my food. So, which is why I buy low sodium, pretty much everything that I can find if I can. Um, so that's why I don't put salt in my canned chicken or anything really. If you want salt, when you get your plate, you put what salt you want on it. Once in a while I will put salt, but usually I just use spices. I use my garlic spices, things like that. And next time I can chicken, I may do something like that and use some spices um, and just kind of flavor it a little bit. But uh, you know, you don't have to have salt in your canning. If you're interested in the video that I did about canning my chicken, uh, I will have a link down in the description for you to go check out if you're interested in doing it. It's pretty simple. I've canned before, not meats, 
mostly vegetables, pickles, beans. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the, like all the vegetables that you can think of, uh, corn and all that. But so the chicken was a new thing for me. So I was a little bit hesitant, but I showed you how I did it. It came out just fine. We've had it, we've eaten it. It's been fine. So I'm not too worried about anything that's grown in it, but you never know. So that's why it's in the pan over here. Now I cooked up two packages of ramen noodles like you normally would. Uh, I didn't show you that because um, it's pretty easy and simple. And I chopped up my vegetables. So let's go see what I've got going on over here. The other reason why I'm heating up my chicken is because it's a small mouth jar and it's really hard to get the chicken out of there. As I pull it, it's just falling apart, which is awesome, but it's hard to get it out. So I'm heating it up so maybe it'll come out a little bit easier. So we're gonna turn on our oven. I'm just gonna splash a little olive oil in there, a couple tablespoons, and then here's my vegetables. I've got green pepper, onion, a couple tablespoons of garlic, and some celery that I chopped up. One, one, just one little stalk. I've got a can of Green Giant cut green beans. These are still the beans. Uh, and uh, ramen noodle packs of six are still only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It's definitely cheaper to go to Walmart, but I was there and I got this for a dollar. I also got a little can of mushrooms. We're gonna put those in as well, but we're gonna wait till the end. And we're gonna put those in as well. Those were a dollar at the Dollar Tree too. And don't throw away your seasoning packets from your ramen noodles, because you are gonna use those if you want to. If you don't, use your own seasoning. They come with the ramen noodles, so you might as well use them. All right, so the, hand, the pan is all heated up, so I'm just gonna dump in all my veggies. Okay, as you can see, it took a couple minutes, but it has, all the veggies have uh, softened up and the onions have gotten kind of translucent. The uh, garlic has browned up a little bit. So we're gonna take our two packs of ramen noodles and just dump it right in there. Take our beans. I drained the water off so there's no water in there. And then I did drain the mushrooms as well, but we're gonna, there is a little bit I noticed down at the bottom, so I'm not gonna put the whole jar. Probably half a jar in there. We'll use the other half for something else. That's a, um, Let's see, that's a 10 ounce jar. And this is a 14.5 ounce thing of beans. Just so you can get a general idea. All right, and then we're gonna take our chicken seasoning. And of course you can use your own seasoning, whatever you want. put whatever you want in there. You can put your salt and your pepper. There is already salt, probably a little bit of salt in that packet anyway. So. But that's already a really pretty hearty meal. Okay, this is the equivalent of five drumsticks is what I had in that jar and so I pulled it all off and checked it for bones and nastiness uh, there was skin on some of those and I left the skin right in there all right 
And then I'm just going to stir the chicken in. Stir it around. Let it cook. Getting brown on the bottom. It's okay with me. This is a good hearty meal. This is going to feed us for a few meals. And again, if you want to put any other kind of seasoning on there, you can. I do have some garlic powder that I'm going to put on, maybe. Pinches and then stir it in. Some pepper. And stir it up again. Just let it keep cooking until um, I think it's okay, ready. So it's all done. It's all stirred in. I let it cook for another uh, probably five minutes, um, medium low, and just kept stirring it around, stirring it around. Now it's a little bit dry. You could take, if you have canned beef or you have, I mean, sorry, canned chicken or um, with the broth in there or you use beef and or you have a bouillon cube or something like that and you wanted to make it more of a soup you could do that just add some of your canned juice uh here it is this is what i have left after canning up or taking out all the chicken i'm going to use this broth and make something i don't know uh, i may add some to this and cook it again just cook it up and make make it a little more watery and more soupy. It's all in what you like. And of course, add what you like to it. This is just giving you an idea. Uh, the um, ramen noodles, the vegetables, the one can of vegetables, and I did buy a can or jar of mushrooms and those were each a dollar. So for $3, you could put all that stuff together and make a fairly good meal and the ramen noodles are six in a package for a dollar so it's not per package it's a package has six packages inside of it so you could potentially make quite a big feed on ramen noodles a few vegetables uh something canned whatever you decide whether it be beef chicken tuna whatever you want but let's give this a try i want to find some a little bit of everything little mushroom little chicken little noodle Mm. That's pretty tasty, actually. Um, it's not super salty, which is good in my part. Hubby might want to put a little bit of salt on his. Not a big deal. That's why I don't add it while I'm cooking, just because we don't need the extra salt. But that's actually pretty tasty, a pretty good meal. And that's just using a little bit of garlic powder with the little packets. So... It's very good, actually. We're gonna have this later for supper, and I really like it. So there you go. There's an easy, cheap meal. I just added a few extra things, but you don't have to. They actually say that you can add some Parmesan cheese, which I'm gonna do, and I wanna try that as well. Of course, this has got salt in it too. Maybe. It's brand new. There we go. Shake it up. Now I can't open it. Okay. So put a little Parmesan on there. Let's try it with the Parmesan. Mmm. I like it with the Parmesan better. Of course I would. There's a little more flavoring and a little more salt. I'm not saying I don't like salt. I love salt but my body doesn't like salt. 
So, but that's really pretty good with a little bit of Parmesan on there. So there you go, guys. You can make it as extravagant or as skimpy as you want, but there you go for a quick Dollar Tree meal. So if this meal looks interesting to you, I have a few more. Just click the link over here so that you can watch some other of the Dollar Tree meal videos.